Today I will just demonstrate the northwest corner rule in transportation problems. I have taken a problem from Anderson Sweeney. I have ch just changed the names of the places. I have taken distribution centers at Hyderabad, Cochin, Jaipur and Hamdabad and uh, manufacturing plants which supplies to these distribution centers at uh, Bangalore, Chennai and Delhi respectively. <coughs> Now, uh, from ba Bangalore plant has got a capacity of 5,000 units production capacity. Chennai plant 6,000, Delhi 2,500 units, which uh, sums up to 13,500. And the four distribution centers demand have been mentioned here. 6,000 is the demand requirement of Hyderabad distribution center. Cochin distribution center has got 4,000 demand requirement, 4,000 units. Jaipur 2,000. And Ahmedabad 1500 respectively and which again sums up to 13500. Now if the demand requirement at four distribution centers equals the supply capacity of three plants then we got then we call such a transportation problems as uh, balanced transportation problems. We will see unbalanced transportation problems in future uh, videos. Now uh, how, how to allot how to get initial basic feasible solution using northwest corner rule um, is the purpose of uh, this video so northwest corner rule as the name uh, suggests uh, first targets the northwest corner most cell of this matrix which happens to be this now uh, if i draw a map here this is north this is south this is east this is west and this happens to be northwest corner of the map so in this matrix this is the northwest corner most cell so whatever uh, number of units can be met from Bangalore plant to Hyderabad distribution center just uh, meet the demand by sending as many units as possible from Bangalore to Hyderabad now uh, Bangalore has got the capacity of 5000 units while Hyderabad requires 6000 units so Bangalore can supply entire 5000 units once Bangalore supplies entire 5000 units Bangalore uh, plant has exhausted its capacity which for which I what I will do is that I'll just cancel this row now out of this balance eight cells which happens to be northwest corner most cell just target that northwest corner most cell in this case it happens to be this cell I can name these cells as um, let me uh, call this as one two three four so that I can uh, refer to this cell as 21 in fact this is x21 uh, x where x21 is a variable which happens to be the number of units that can be shipped from Chennai to Hyderabad distribution center now this is the northwest corner most cell just check how many units uh, can be shipped from Chennai plant to Hyderabad distribution center in this case only 1000 uh, thousand more units are required at Hyderabad because 5000 already been has been met from Bangalore plant now this 1000 units can Chennai units supply 1000 units yes because it has got supply capacity of 6000 so 1000 units can be supplied from Chennai um, I'll just change the color so I'll just write 1000 here units here and now if you look at this column this Hyderabad requirement of 6000 has been met with so I'll just cancel this uh, row now column so I'll just cancel this out now, out of this six remaining cells which is the northwest corner most cell this happens to be the northwest corner most cell and the variable which represents this cell is x22 so x22 just target this cell and ship as many units as possible from Chennai plant to Cochin distribution center now Cochin has got requirement of 4000 can Chennai supply 4000 yes 
because Chennai after even after supplying 1000 units you will be still left with 5000 to supply so I'll just ship all 4000 units from Chennai to Cochin oh, sorry I just forgot to change the color just ship 4000 units from Chennai plant to Cochin after shipping just cancel the column or the row which has been satisfied now this column has been satisfied so I'll just cancel this column now out of this four target the northwest corner most cell which happens to be this and the variable which represents this cell happens to be x23 now x23 how many units can we can we supply from Chennai plant to Jaipur Jaipur requires 2000 and Chennai has got 1000 more so 1000 entire 1000 units can be shipped so I'll just ship the entire 1000 units from Chennai plant to Jaipur distribution center thus consuming entire 6000 units of Chennai plant after consuming entire 6000 units of Chennai plant I'll just cancel this row row now I'm left with these two cells and out of these two cells 3 3 x 3 3 happens to be the northwest corner most cell target this cell Jaipur requires thousand more units can Delhi supply yes so um, supply entire thousand units and then after meeting the Jaipur's requirement just cancel this out and I am left with only this cell no other alternative so I will just fill whatever is left with at Delhi plant which happens to be 1500 units so I will just ship entire 1500 units from Delhi plant to Ahmedabad distribution center which is 1500 units requirement and thus we have completed northwest corner rule and this happens to give us this will give us initial basic feasible solution from where we have to reach to optimal solution using some other, some other method either modified distribution method or stepping stone method now after completion of any initial basic feasible solution you will have to check for the degeneracy which is nothing but which is given by m plus n minus 1 where m ha happens to be the number of plants in this case which is 3 and n happens to be number of distribution center which in this case is 4 so 3 plus 4 7 7 minus 1 6 just check whether we have got 6 basic variables or not yes 1 2 3 4 5 6 basic variables where basic variable actually means have we shipped any units from some plant to some distribution center yes these are the six routes which we have used and we have shipped these many units in in these routes and these six routes are considered as basic cells basic variables and we have got six variable very basic variables which means that we are not in state of degeneracy that's the end of northwest corner rule thank you very much